Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dryden Motoro and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more gaming content and we're going to get straight into the video. But before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the supporters that's on my screen. A big shout out to Samurai aka WLAG, Crazy Boss V31, Foxy, Weez DNC Gaming, Moldy Superman YT, and even Jordan. Now these people are our channel members on our YouTube platform and I would like to give a big shout out and thank you for their support. So with that all said, let's get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, this video is all about on how to install the business mega pack inside your Grand Theft Auto folder. So like always, make sure you download and install all of the latest requirements that's inside my description below. Now unfortunately, this mod does require a few things, okay, because HKH191 has upgraded the mod to Lemon UI. So, do not download the business mod from here. I'll show you how to download, okay? So all you gotta do is go into my description and now join the HKH191 Discord server, okay? So come to HKH191's Discord server, okay? And then now all you gotta do is just come, just keep coming down here and you'll see the business mod, okay? And watch this over, over here, okay? So download the business mega pack from here, okay? But unfortunately, I've already got it, so I don't need to download it. Once you have downloaded the business pack from Discord, then all you guys got to do next now is download the enable all interiors. Make sure you download the latest version. And then now there is requirements for this mod to actually work. Download the Lemon UI open source, okay, and make sure you download the latest version. Once you have completed that, then we can get started. Now, before we do get started, okay, I have already tested this mod five times now, and it still works and it does work, okay. So, make sure you guys do follow the process, okay, and we can just get straight into it. So all you gotta do is go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click, and open file location. Now as you guys can see, uh, that this mod over here, this folder over here, is completely clean, okay? The only mods that I have in here is scriptalkv.net, scriptalkv, and simple trainer, and then that's all I got, okay? I do not have any mods inside my scripts folder and nothing inside my mods folder. So, this is a complete clean folder, okay? So make sure you guys do go inside my description, download all of the requirements and install them, okay? Once you have finished with that, then make sure you create a scripts folder and now make sure that your scripts does have a lowercase, so make sure that they are all lowercase and make sure you do spell scripts correct. Once you have done that, open up your scripts folder. And then now, once you guys have finished with that, okay, then all you gotta do is open up your your business mod, okay, uh, which is your TBMP mod, okay, extract folder. Then now in that folder, all you gotta do is open up this folder. Then now, the next thing you gotta do is select all the files in folder and now drag it into your scripts folder and then after that exit out of your extract folder now open up your enable all interiors and now open up the folder that's inside your enable all interiors and then all, all you gotta do is select all the files and folder and drag it inside your scripts folder. Now this will pop up 
all you gotta do is replace. Now exit out of your extract folder. Now open up your Lemon UI extract folder. Now all you gotta do is open up your Scuttlehog v.net3. Now in there, all you gotta do is select all the files and drag it inside your scripts folder. Exit out of there. Now open up your Scuttlehog v.net2. And now select all the files and then drag it inside your scripts folder. Now exit out of your extract folder. Now basically we have done that, okay, we are done. But before we do anything, okay, right click, refresh your scripts folder. Then go back to your GTA V main folder. Now the only trainer that I have inside my main folder is only simple trainer, okay. So, yeah, so basically we have finished with that, so, um, yeah, so all you guys got to do next now is just exit out of your game folder, right click, refresh your desktop, and I'll see you guys in the game. And we're back in the game, and we, now we're here with Franklin. So, we, all you guys got to do, once you're in the game, okay, open up your phone, now go to your phone, contacts, go right down to the bottom, then now go to business helper. Wait for a few seconds, and then now go to purchase our business, and then now the business that I'm going to try out is executive business, which is this one over here. Now I want to go to the Maze Bank Tower. Now I brought that, then back out, then I'll open up your phone again, go to your contacts, go right down to the bottom and go to enable interiors. Wait for a few seconds. Now once your menu pops up, press enter, then go to executive interiors. Now make sure you just put all this, these to true. Well, make sure you read it first and then put it on true. But this is this is all optional. You can put it on true or false. It's totally up to you. It's, it is all optional. Once you've done that, okay, then go right down to the bottom. And now you'll see MISC options. Go to MISC options. Now make sure, really important, make sure you load MP maps and make sure it is on true. Now enable blips, make sure that it's true. Now this is, this is optional. Uh, blips show, no, random color blips. That is optional, okay? So I'm going to make that true as well because I always make it true. Now back out once, go to uh, refresh interiors, which is down one, press enter, then wait for a few seconds, back out, and now on your keyboard, press insert. Wait for a few seconds, your game will freeze for about under one minute. Now, as you guys can see, I'm back in the game. It's been one minute, and as you can see on the left-hand side, it's all enabling. So, yeah, so all you guys got to do next now is just go to the business. So the business that I have chosen and brought was the executive business in the maze bank, which is this one over here. So I'm going to teleport there yeah, using my simple trainer. Go to teleporting, then go to teleport to waypoint, and there you go. Now, let's go in and see if it's working. And there it goes. I can see a purple uh, spot over there, see? Now, all you gotta do is just go over here and press E on your keyboard. Now you gotta have to wait for a few seconds. And now there it goes. Now you can exit or you can talk to your executive partner over there. You can um, come over here, go to the garage, go up top. You can go over here, have a drink. And you can watch TV. But yeah, um, and you can go over here too. 
and you can start your business but I don't want to do it because it's gonna make the video long but it does work I have already tested all of the missions they all work so yeah I hope you guys do enjoy this mod so that is it for now but like always if you guys do get stuck installing this mod then please let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help out on that or if you do get stuck installing any other mods then please let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that. If I don't contact you on time I will leave my discord server inside my description below so make sure you check that out and not to mention that make sure that you do check out HKH191's discord server for more support. So with that all said, if you guys did enjoy this video, smash the like button and subscribe for more gaming content. And I'll see you all on my next video. Thank you for watching. Peace and I'm out.